Savage Business. Simple business advice for you to start and run your business. Welcome to another edition of Savage Business. Today we're going to discuss why you need an LLC and the importance of setting up an LLC. This is your host, Glendon Cameron, a serial entrepreneur, and what we do here is we teach you with simple advice how to start and run your business. This video was brought to you by Hustlers Kung Fu University, aka Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills, where our current course that we have going on is how to make money from scratch to set up in the foundation. So if you want to get 50% off of this course, what you will do is leave a comment on this video. And also there's a whole lot more for you at Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills. We deal with credit repair. We deal with how to start a business and the money management course. If you want 50% off of this course, leave a comment in the video. So we got a lot of stuff going on. So let's get into this wonderful bean footage. And one of the first things you need to do is subscribe to the channel. Once you do that, hit the bell notification. And after you do that, go to the front of the channel page and watch all of the videos from start to finish. Go back to the oldest video, and you know if you come across this video three years in the future, you will gain economic benefit by watching the older videos as well as the new videos. So with that, let's get into it. Why do you need an LLC? An LLC separates you from your business. One of the things is you should have an LLC, you should have an EIN, and you should have business checking account. This makes your business legit and it completely separates it from you. You could run your business without all that and you will be what's known as a sole proprietor. This is one of the big issues with being a sole proprietor versus having the EIN and the LLC is everything focuses and factors back to you. Let's say you go to the bank and you get a loan for your sole proprietorship. Well, they're going to check your personal credit and the loan's going to be in your name. It's not going to be in the business name. It's going to be in your name. So if that loan goes bad, then they're coming after you and whatever assets you have. Well, if you go ahead and set up an LLC, EIN, business checking, set up a business credit profile. We'll be talking about that later. So be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification button. It's a whole different game because the business loan will be in the name of the business, but this is not something you're gonna be able to accomplish right off the bat. Let's say your name is John. Hey John, and you have this idea of starting this business and you don't really know what you wanna do. Well, I got a suggestion for you. What you could do is start a holding company because this is how corporate aging works. The older your corporation is, the more beneficial it will be to you. So let's say you don't know what you want to do. You can start a holding company today, give it a generic name and set it up for the future. And then whenever you're starting a more specific company, what you can do is have this holding company create what's called a subsidiary or a child LLC which is attached to the holding company and you can run your business from that child LLC. That's if you don't know what you want to do. Uh, that's my favorite way of setting these things up because what it does is each layer of corporate structure protects you. So let's say you have a holding company and an LLC. That's two layers of protection between you and the world. And once again, if you set it up correctly, let's say someone sues your company. They can sue your company, but they can't sue you. This is another reason to either have just a holding company or a simple LLC, because once you begin building up your business and getting some assets, you're going to become very attractive to lawsuits. Uh, Christian Guzman here on YouTube was sued when he tried to start a company and he ended up paying $250,000 in legal fees. See, here's the thing. Lawyers are smart cookies. 
and before they take a case, they're gonna look at the viability of it. And let's say you go ahead, your name is Broke Dick Danny, you go ahead and you punch uh, Carl, you knock Carl's tooth out, and Carl contracts a lawyer, the lawyer's gonna investigate you and figure out, whoa, he's Broke Dick Danny, he has no money. So he's gonna charge Carl like $5,000 to go after you because he knows that you have no money. You're what's called judgment proof. You have no assets, you have no credit, and anyone sues you, they get, they're gonna get a big fat zero. These lawyers, they typically don't sue broke people or people that they cannot collect from. However, you my friend, an enterprising business owner, you've built your business, you've been working hard, you've got money in the bank, you have assets, you're very attractive to lawsuits. So once again, to protect your assets and to protect you, you need a holding company and an LLC or a, a collection of LLCs to create layers because let's say one of your employees at one of your, like your third LLC, let's say you've got a holding company, you have one, two, you have three LLCs and an employee of LLC company number three punches Carl. Well, the attorney's gonna figure out that it's like, oh, there's some money here, and but here's the thing. They can only go after that LLC because your employee punched Carl in the process of serving Carl, so there's a relationship that they can use to negotiate the lawsuit. Because let's say Carl punches this guy and he's off the clock, he's not doing any work for you, there's no way they can come after you. They can come after that employee, but they can't come after you. But since Carl's working for you on the clock doing the job for Carl, you're open to a lawsuit. And once again, like I said, attorneys are really, really smart. They don't sue broke people. They don't go after folks they can't collect from. Once you start building a business and getting some assets, you become super, super attractive to lawsuits. And the, there, there's a group of attorneys who just go around and look for people to sue. And they're looking for people with deep pockets. So another reason that you would have an LLC is you, you're gonna hire some employees. As a sole proprietor, if you hire employees, in which you can, and you can write them a check and take out taxes and do all that, if something bad happens between you and an employee and the employee wants to sue you, they're right after all of your assets. They can sue you for your house, they can sue you for your car, because there is no separation, there is no division between you and your company. And I know a lot of people want to skip the creation of the LLC, skip the creation of the corporate structure, and as long as you don't make a lot of money, more likely nothing's gonna happen to you. But God forbid you start cranking out some money, you have a disgruntled employee, well, all of your assets, including all that money you made, are now at risk. Let's say you're a sole proprietor and you hire a female employee and she goes ahead and accuses you of touching her when she didn't want to be touched. Then she sues you. She's not suing your company. She is suing you. Once again, your house, your car, everything is up for grabs because in this lawsuit, she can come after you. Now let's say you work for, you hired a female employee and she worked for your corporation. She can only sue the corporation. Now, one of the things that you can do to prevent this stuff is set up an insurance policy that will factor in this kind of thing and the only money she can get is the limits of the insurance policy. That's it. They can't get any more money. So once again, there are so many reasons to have a corporation, to have a holding company, to set yourself up this way. It is ridiculous to go forward and it is super cheap. In most states, you can form your LLC uh, holding company for about 200 bucks. And that's two corporations and your EIN is free. Let me tell you a funny little story. There was someone, a client of mine, that went online and once again, when you Google EIN, all of these corporations pop up where they can get you your EIN fast. And they actually will get you an EIN. They will file the paperwork for you stuff and get you an EIN. And they'll charge you 100, 200, 300 bucks. Well, if you yourself go to the Internal Revenue Service website and fill out the form, it's 100% free. And a lot of people don't know that. Many people do know that, many people don't know that. 
but getting your EIN is free. And once again, if you do it early in the morning before the site gets busy, you can have that EIN probably in five minutes. Once you file your corporate paperwork, then go ahead and apply for your EIN. And literally you can go open up your business checking account that day. There, there are so many reasons that you want to have an LLC. It separates you from your company. It creates layers of protection and you can set up your LLC to get massive tax benefits. This is one of the, this is how I conduct my life. I get a lot of expenses run through my company, which then become tax deductions like this house that I'm in. I rent this house out to my company. Now that gets a little tricky. You just cannot like say, oh, I'm renting out the house to the company. You, there's, a, well, there's a few steps you gotta take. I may or may not address that in a future video, but essentially I'm able to legally rent this house to my company because one of the things like I'm upstairs right now and this is one of the spare bedrooms. There's three up here and each one of these bedrooms is a studio. It is a dedicated YouTube studio. So I use this house for business. I use most of it for business and therefore I have a legitimate tax use and tax exemption because of it. But I also get to live here, but I also work a lot. So one of the cool things is that this is a massive tax deduction. This is more massive than if I got to roll off the entrance because you can only write off the entrance. I, this way I get to write off the whole payment. So once again, when you have an LLC, you can set up a tax structure where your company, like my vehicles, well, the BMW is in the name of the company. So it's not in my name. And I use the vehicle as a prop for the YouTube video. So it's a prop. So it's a 100% tax deduction. And once again, you can set up your corporation where you can run your cell phone, you can run your, there's so many things that you could put in your corporate name and receive a little personal benefit that is ridiculous. I mean, it's insane. You can do none of this as a sole proprietor because one of the things that happens is as a sole proprietor and also, if you want to stay a sole proprietor, that means you're never going to hire employees. You're never going to grow. You're never going to be a big company. You're never going to move to the next level. Starting an LLC early prepares your company for growth. And if you know that you're going to want to sell shares or eventually go public, you wouldn't even start an LLC. You would start what's called a C corporation, which is a whole different animal. But for most of people, an LLC works just fine unless you have bigger ambition. One of the benefits to starting an LLC is you can go ahead and create a dual entity for business credit. With your LLC, once you go ahead and get your LLC, your EIN, your business checking, you need a business phone number and a business address, you can begin to address the concern of getting business credit. And I'm not talking about vendor credit. Vendor credit is like, say you are a leather maker and you go to this leather company and they give you a line of credit of $5,000, which means that you can order up to $5,000 worth of leather goods from them and they will hold, carry the paper and then you get to make them pay them over time or pay them 30, 40, 30, 60, 90 days later for getting the leather goods. Now, that's called vendor credit. Now, what I'm talking about is if you wanna get big boy credit, which is Visa, MasterCard, American Express, uh, business lines of credit and business loans. This is the type of business credit that an LLC will enable you to get once you season your LLC correctly. And it's a whole different ball game. You cannot do this as a sole proprietor because there is no separation between you and your business. You are your business and your business is you. Whereas you can have an LLC and literally have three corporations, three lines of credit, all kinds of bank accounts. Because each time you go through this process of creating an EIN and an LLC, you create another entity which is able to get financials. That's, it's like, it's like you're creating a person that can get a credit card at some point in the future. It's really, really wild when you look at it, but there are so many business owners who skip this step 
And also, when you fill out and do your LLC, make sure you do what I call a solid LLC. Uh, there are many people like LegalZoom, you go to LegalZoom real quick and just fill out a template and then boom, you have your LLC and it's a valid LLC, but it's not a bulletproof LLC because the articles of organization are not detailed because this is one of the reasons you would start a holding company and uh, a subsidiary. You have your holding company have a whole different set of articles of organization and your subsidiary will have a different set of articles of organization that are specific and in alignment with the business that you have created. This creates a stronger LLC. This creates a bulletproof LLC where that smart attorney cannot quote, pierce the corporate veil. Let me tell you one of the easiest ways that an attorney can figure out how to pierce the corporate veil is if you have a business and you have business checking, but you have no personal checking. And this is commingling of funds. When they can figure out that you're using business funds for personal use, then this will allow an attorney to pierce the corporate veil. It's just that simple. And this is one of the reasons that when you have a business, you need to have a personal checking account with money going in it. Because you know, many people talk about like, hey, how do you pay yourself from a business? It's quite simple. You write a check from the, you know, once again, your business checking should be comprised of many different accounts, but you write from the appropriate account, a check to you, which you deposit into your personal checking. That's how you pay yourself. It's just that simple. And one of the things is, and I'll, I'll be doing videos about this in the future, is capital expenditures. Because let's say it, you put $50,000 into your business. Well, guess what? You could take that $50,000 out of your business without paying taxes. You didn't, I mean, the money that went into the business already paid taxes, so you don't have to pay taxes on that money twice and three times. So you could take out whatever you put in up to that point before you have to start paying taxes. And this is capital expenditures. There, there's so many things that you can do with the LLC game. Like one of the things I did is I have multiple LLCs and what I did is I'm getting ready to do some real estate and I lent my real estate company $80,000 from one of my principal LLCs. So essentially this new corporation is already in debt to a corporation that I own. So I'm lending myself money. So from a tax standpoint, this new corporation is already in debt. It ain't gonna pay any taxes until it pays back that loan, then earns a profit. So these are things I'll be talking about as we go forward. But one of the things that you should understand is you're gonna start a business and you should start a business. You need an LLC. You really, really do. I'm serious, I'm serious as a heart attack because I want you to be successful. And if you're successful and if you're making money, a corporation can set your life up in the future in so many remarkable ways, it ain't funny. So with that, what I want you guys to do is subscribe and go to the front of the channel and begin watching the older videos because it's economic benefit. There's all types of business game here for you to digest to make you a better business person, to make you smarter, to stronger, and to put some money in your pocket. So with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.